The results page is where the items identified in your searches will appear and where you can sort, filter, and then analyze the products. First, you have a drop-down menu from which you can select any completed search to view in your results page. And the default will always be to show all until you change it here. This is where you can see how many products are in the search results and how many products are currently set to hidden, which you won't see. This here will show you how many pages of products that the search has. And here you have a drop-down menu option to change the number of products shown per page and the order in which they are presented. So you can have them showing low to high by sales rank, a sales rank percentage, or even a sales rank three month average. You can also choose to order them from newest to oldest or oldest to newest. This is where you can manually delete products, either singly or by page. The trash can icon on the product panel will delete just that product, while the trash can icon at the top of the page will allow you to select and delete all of the products on that page. The hide icon here can be used to hide any products you no longer wish to see in your search results. The products will then remain hidden for as long as you have them set to stay that way in your global filter settings, either for 3, 7 or 30 days or even forever. And if any of the results are a mismatch, just click the report mismatch flag button here and they will disappear from your results.